All right, we got what a bottle is this? New Holland SP. SP. Two something. SP 310F with a 120 foot mono boom in the center section, position one and two. We're gonna bridge. Uh, that C channel goes in between on the sub boom there. And then we come back out. We got a 13 inch extension onto the sub boom. We might do an offset here instead, depending on what you want. But otherwise, we bridge them together, stiffen them up a little bit. Drop one's gonna go there. Drop one on the other side is right here same orientation just squeezes in between the wet boom and your tree same u-bolts and everything position two going out is just going to hook on to the two inch reinforcement there um, with a two and a half inch modified walker straight out to a 20 22 inch extension yeah yeah, 22 inch, no, yeah, 22 inch extension. Those are penned in. That's the exact same thing here. It's this one with the bolt. Yeah, here you gotta be careful when you're mounting it. There's a bolt there. You just gotta, but it should be fine. It looks good on here. So no need for an offset here. If you're really worried about it, we can provide an offset, but I don't like those. Here's the same thing, no bolt, easy attachment. Uh, all 22s and then here we go to the six inch plate uh, 45 degree Miller plates and 22 inch extension still there next one is the six inch plate again um, with a 13 inch extension next one we've got just the five inch extension keeping it tight six inch U-bolts, six inch plate, everything's the same. There's a small child running through the scene. Switching over to the back side of the boom here, so you got nozzle bodies to contend with. Um, it will work out with the fertilizer port. Um, this is a six inch plate. Comes out right under your fertilizer port. If you have to use your fertilizer port for anything but this, it will not work out and you'll want to set it off to the side and use an offset, but most likely you are not. This one here, on the, the first one on the secondary, gets a catch. Um, we've just put a 3 8 supply tube over that. You can always clamp that on. And that is so that as you fold, it will catch and stop on that, rather than just extending out around the boom. Um, this one has the wedge block kit on it, so that it will auto fold. And shorty extension, just six inches. All of these are the same, but they don't all need catches because the uh, drop will hang down and just catch the boom on all these. And then on this here with all the reinforcements where the drop actually needs to be, you just add this offset. So that's a 9 by 13 offset. And you can put those either way, 9 back or 13 back. That one's 13 back. Um, Oh, what size? This is, and on all of these past ones that I just talked about. Okay, let me go back to the first one on the, this is the first one on the secondary. This is a six inch plate, but we had to cut these bolts off so that there was clearance. So I think we cut about an inch off. Hopefully I have that done before you get these customer if you're watching this. If not, I apologize. On this one here, it's a five inch. So this is a five inch plate and a five inch u-bolt or two five inch u-bolts on the next one we are back to a six inch because all the fish plating so it's a six inch we had to cut these u-bolts off just to get them to fit um and otherwise uh six inch u-bolts six inch plate offset this here we've added a shim quarter inch ish shim uh, hopefully i've by the time anybody else sees this you'll have a uh, quarter inch poly shim for that and then that's a five inch plate five inch u-bolts five inch six inch extension the shim is because of the fish yeah the shim is because just to balance out this fish plate now at the same time this customer has chosen to just do extensions and you know keep it nice and tight which i like but uh there's a chance that if you need that fertilizer for it for something else then you're going to be mounted over here with an offset um and so that would just be a standard five we'd basically be able to get away with fives 
on all of the secondary? No, but one, two, and three of the secondaries, we could probably get away with five inch plates if we did offsets. So that's five, that's where I was. This is a four inch plate with three inch U-bolts, correct? And then the wedge bolt, wedge block, and that's the last one. Yep, that's on the brake.